everybody, Chris Prescott here with Master CDP Studios, bringing you another tutorial inside Studio One. And today I'm going to show you how to convert your MIDI tracks to an audio track. So there's a few ways you can do this. And once again, I'm going with an example that I used in my mix down tutorial, just this short 45 second synth part that I recorded. All right, so as you can see, I've recorded the MIDI, you can see the MIDI parts, the MIDI events right here. And what we want to do now, if we're going to want to convert this to audio, there's a bunch of ways you could actually do it. So you can left click and you can transform the audio track. So I'm going to leave that as is, I'm not going to mess with that right now. And there you go. So as you can see now, there's the WAV files, the WAV file of those MIDI parts. All right, and that lets you do things like if you want it to fade out, you can do that. But let's say you don't want it to be a WAV file yet. Let's say you still need to work on it. Maybe you need to edit some of the MIDI parts. So all you got to do is transform the in instrument track, and it goes back to the MIDI. Uh, MIDI MIDI track all right and then another way you can do this you can mix down selection so give it some time it'll take a little bit obviously this would take a lot longer if it was a longer track but what this is gonna do is it's gonna mix it down into its own wave file its own wave audio track but it's still going to leave the MIDI events, the MIDI track there. So there you go. And let's play that back. Once again, this comes in handy. Like if you want to just edit the WAV file, if you want it to fade in like that. See, because obviously I wouldn't be able to do that with the MIDI. So I've actually mixed it down into a wave track, to its own uh, audio track. So you can do it like that. Let me undo this really quick. And then another way to do it is just to bounce it to new track. And there you go. Same thing. And that's it. So that easy. If you're looking to convert your MIDI tracks to an audio track, very simple. And uh, I know, you know, I, I, I didn't even know how to do this one in the first few months of starting Studio One and Studio One. So uh, all I did was look up a YouTube video on how to do that. And there we go. And, you know, now I hope that my YouTube video tutorial on this is going to help those of you out there that are just starting up in Studio One. And I hope you like this tutorial video. I hope... Uh, a lot of people it seems like they've been liking the uh, tutorial videos that has the most views out of all the videos on my channel and uh, like I mentioned in my last tutorial video appreciate Studio One or Personas for sharing all my tutorial videos as well as Johnny Gibb from Home Studio Trainer I appreciate you guys thank you very much and to all you subscribers out there that are subscribing for these videos thank you very much if you could help me out by giving a thumbs up to the videos, tell me in the comments what you liked about it, what else you would like to see, what other tutorials you would like me to do inside Studio One. You know, um, anything that I know that I'm knowledgeable on in Studio One, I plan on doing a tutorial video on everything that I know to help out all those out there that are starting off as well. Because I know, like I said, I've mentioned plenty of times before, when I was first starting off, there were so many questions I had. I was very confused with using this program, very complex uh, DAW and it's an awesome DAW because you can do basically everything you can mix master record and it ha comes with a cornucopia amount of instruments for you just from Personas alone and then just how it integrates with the other third-party VSTs and instruments it's, it's just a great program so I look forward to doing more of these tutorials for you guys so once again this is Chris with Master CDP Studios stick around